Hey Sagittarius, welcome to your July weekly love reading. This will be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please keep in mind, energy is interchangeable, therefore it can go vice versa. And this reading won't resonate with everyone. So take whatever fits with your situation and leave the rest, okay? I just got the notification one more. Hold on one second. Sagittarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please. Thank you. Okay. All right. So the Romance Angel cards you got are keep an open mind with engagement, okay? So definitely there's a situation here um, where it's not really progressed how it should, right? Um, there seems to be a lot of lack and doubt here, and I'll show you why. Um, but I am getting the sense uh, just from these cards that possibly one person in the situation needs to kind of understand, uh, you know, how the other person is viewing things, okay? There's some kind of miscommunication with that uh, because it's making the other person feel unwanted and uh, not good in the relationship, okay? Or situationship, whatever it is. Um, with that, you got forgive. Forgiveness is a liberating choice with lack and doubts. Okay, definitely forgiveness is needed in this situation. Um, I think that there's a feeling here from one person that's feeling like, you know, that's enough. It's enough of this and I'm tired of feeling hurt. I'm, I'm feeling like um, this sense of... Um, it feels like a betrayal because it feels like the person is always constantly trying to either trigger you or uh, make you feel upset, okay? Overall energy, we have the Ace of Swords. Okay, this is about uh, clarity, right? New beginnings, okay? This is also about speaking your truth, seeing uh, the realistic parts of the situation and what's actually going on too. Gaining clarity here. Okay, so let's see what's happening. Okay, Sag. Let's see what's happening. We have the Devil card. Eight of Pentacles. And the Queen of Cups. Okay, tell me about the Devil card. Emperor and Six of Pentacles. So it seems like to me, you guys, uh, in regards to this person, have always tried to keep them on their toes, right? You've always tried to keep them in line, not in a bad sense, but more of like, you know, hey, did you just not realize that, you know, I called you? Can you call me sometimes? Or did you not realize this? Did you... Um, you're just trying to get them to see things because they're not expressing them. That's definitely what I feel with the Oracle cards. Um, Eight of Pentacles, Queen of Cups. I feel like this week you guys are really working on your emotions. Yeah, I just said, uh, right? Because you're. this has made you really upset, right? This has made you feel like, um, gosh, uh, I just heard a loss of my, I, a loss of sense of self. So this whole situation even though you love this person and you care about them in the queen of cups uh and you think very fondly of them right you've really invested your time and emotions in this person and really have tried to count on them right but uh in a sense you couldn't count on them uh this left you very feeling devastated all the time tell them about the five of cups six of cups yeah you kind of want it to go back to how it was, right? Uh, how it used to be. It seems like the, this this situation you're in, in the beginning was, was great, right? There was fireworks, possibly um, very intense chemistry, feeling like uh, the love was so strong, right? Well, I'm getting a sense that the love didn't change, but the action on uh, how the situation and how the relationship was um, kind of progressed uh, in a sense was very, uh, left you very upset, left you very um, kind of 
I don't want to say traumatized, but um, it feels like that intensity, right? I'm not saying this person traumatized you, but it definitely left you feeling triggered, right? And it was triggering you in your uh, other daily things or dealing with other people because you were dealing with it with this person, okay? Um, you couldn't quite get them to step up the way that you wanted them to. So let's see what they're doing right now in regards to you, Sag. Let's see. Hermit, Queen of Pentacles, Empress. So I just heard I'm hiding, I'm hiding. Um, they might be hiding from you right now, uh, taking a little break. Tell them about the Hermit. Star, yeah, they're trying to find, uh, find out since you are the most important to them, you may not see that here. Okay. Hermit star card as the hermit already has the star in his lantern. Um, he's not really seeing that it's just right in front of him. Right. So you may not see this, that this person actually cares that much about you as what I'm picking up. Right. Because you felt like you had to keep them in line. You had to keep them, um, I just heard interested. So, you know, this person may have had a lot of things going on or didn't give you enough attention, uh, anything like that, but you had to keep this person interested as well. That's not for everyone, just for um, select few, okay? So about the Queen of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, Seven of Swords, Page of Pentacles. So they... Okay, so there, I'm picking up a, um, a situation here. So at times where you would want uh, to feel <clears throat> like loved or at times you want to feel doted on or feel like you're the most important person to this person or feel comforted, okay? Just feeling a feeling of uh, wanting somebody to count on. They would use a strategy, basically. Um, they would do this on purpose to kind of retract themselves uh, to make you feel a little bit less than because they felt that they were less than, okay? Seven of Swords, Page of Pentacles. So you were at, you're at the Queen of Pentacles and they're at the page, okay? And they would do this on purpose, uh, to try to, uh, disguise. Let's see why. Okay. Knight of Pentacles. They wanted to slow this down. They wanted to still show you that they're loyal to you, that they're not going anywhere that you can still count on them sometimes, but this is a very much an energy that comes in and out and very page of Pentacles. It's like they learn it, then they're off studying, um, and you're like, you think that the, they'll tell you, you know, oh no, no, I heard you. It's just little things, minor things, right? I heard you, no, you weren't listening to me, you know, they heard you, but they, they're acting as if, you know, trying to use a strategy to get you to go, you know, why? Because two reasons, they wanted to see how much you care about them. They're dealing with their own issues, right? So they would play it like that. But also, they were feeling uh, less than, right? They were feeling a sense of lack here, okay? And really doubting themselves in the situation. Uh, tell me about the Empress card. Seven of Wands, yeah. As, as you are in the Empress energy as well, right? Queen of Pentacles and Empress. It seems like things come easy to you, right? It seems like things, um, you don't need somebody to protect you is kind of how this person viewed you. And it's their own triggers uh, and energy that's kind of a residue from past relationships or situation from their childhood, whatever it is, baggage they're hanging on to. I see it filtering over in this one. And I think... Another fire sign had that too. Um, it was really triggering it. So you might have uh, Aries 
or I think it was Aries in your chart. If not, um, doesn't have to be. All right, tell me about the Seven of Wands. Ace of Cups, yeah. Always kind of leaving the situation of your relationship uh, at a point of, you know, the start, right? Always, it felt good, butterflies, but then it never really progressed. It always kind of stayed at that stagnant place because they were playing the game of trying to keep it there, right? Because they wanted to slow it down here. Still show you that they were into you, but didn't want to make you feel so good and so confident and comfortable in this situation that possibly their fear I'm picking up uh, might have been that you would then realize that you were better, you could get better than them, okay? That's what I'm kind of picking up with their energy. Let's see the challenge here. Justice Page of Wands and the Moon. Yeah, again, there could be an age gap, I have to say. It doesn't have to be for everyone. I just saw 1155. You guys might be seeing that. 1155, okay? Angel number. So pay attention to that if that's important to you. Um, uh, usually, just acknowledge what you're thinking if you see 1155, and um, you will know exactly uh, what to do, okay? Um, it kind of what your focus is on okay and you can also look it up okay i'm not telling i'm not the expert but you know okay moving on so justice page of wands the moon yes this person could have been younger it doesn't have to be but can also be a situation uh again where this the maturity level you were already at the empress right they're at the page of wands so they acted in a sense very immature that's playing games that's kind of like you know triggering you things like that justice being in the challenge also means that you know they didn't reciprocate right they didn't give an, an equal, uh, equal playing field for you guys to grow and make this turn from the ace of cups into something more towards the three of cups um and you never really knew where you stood here with the moon card. It kind of left you in confusion. Like, why are they acting like that? I know that they, I know that they're getting it. Why are they being this way? Okay, let's see what action they're going to take here. Magician Temperance. Two of Pentacles and the High Priestess. I want the Magician. Two of Wands. I want the Two Wands. Hangman. So I have to tell you, in a sense, probably a lot of you are wondering, are they going to change? In a sense, they will, only based on after they learn that this style is not working because of how you are going to interpret this to them. I do see you telling them they are coming forward to you. If you guys have been, uh, a lot of fire signs, it's like communication has been uh, lacking. Um, but let me just say this. The temperance card here is good, okay? Because they're going to start to understand that balance is key for this situation, okay? That they need to meet you up uh, right where you are here and stop playing the game of being, um, you know, immature and trying to, you know, put this facade up, make you feel something different that's not really true, right? Um, Magician Two of Wands, Hangman, though, I am seeing uh, that they will in a sense, make you feel like they're changing, right? They're making a decision to kind of see a different perspective. But what happens is they think they're still playing a game, but it, it actually gets stopped here kind of by the universe, which is kind of cool, okay? Um, and that's why I think you're getting keep an open mind about the engagement card because uh, with what's happening when they're trying to do this and take this action towards you, then they're starting to see all of a sudden, whoa, wait a minute. 
I need to sac start sacrificing that the way that I want to do things, right? The way, like I said in the beginning with the Oracle cards, they need to change, you know, they cannot do it their way, okay? In order for it to work, they have to do it the way that's proper, right? And that let things go naturally. Don't try to be something you're not. Um, two of Pentacles, High Priestess, <clears throat> also in a sense, uh, this is divinely guided for them to learn this lesson and understand that, you know, the ebb and flow of things. And you cannot control things and, and go for it to go in your favor, okay? So I do see this person... Um, starting to kind of get the light bulb go off and get the epiphany of what needs to be changed here and seeing that, oh, I shouldn't be doing this, okay? It's kind of like a knock in the head a little bit. And uh, so they are going to reach out to you. I do see that um, this week. But... You know, it's going to be trial and error. It's going to be something that's, you're not going to be like, you know, oh my gosh, you know, everything's back to normal. You know, you're, you're not accepting that was what I'm seeing. Okay. Um, Devil Emperor Six of Pentacles is you really uh, need this person to step up to the plate. You really need them to keep them in line. Right. And that's what you've been doing is trying to make them see and work on, you know, how this has emotionally affected you and affected, you know, other people in your life just by reactions or whatever has happened, okay? Sagittarius, I'm going to leave it there. Um, offering an extended reading. So if this reading is resonating with you, you're more than welcome to join me there. I will put the link in the description box down below. We're going to go over um, what, where this is headed, what action they're going to take in the future, the outcome, and we're going to go over some so sacred soulmate cards, okay? Other than that, if this is your last stop, thank you so much. I love you guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.